morning everybody. I am out today at another new location I've never been to before. And I'm really excited because there's at least three different types of habitats here. There's a little bit of a field, there's also a large marsh and pond area, and then there's also some mixed forest as well. So I'm really excited. I'm hoping there's going to be a lot of different species here. And I've already heard about five different birds calling, so that's a good sign. So let's go see what we can find. Out for a few minutes over at a little bit of a platform they had to overlook the marsh and I heard or saw at least nine different species just in a few minutes so it's a good sign a lot of them were too far out in the marsh to get any pictures or video but they're out and about so that's good There's been a lot of bird activity, but not much in the way of things to photograph. They're being pretty far away and in the bush, so there's no clear shots of them. But the sun's starting to come out, and it is supposed to warm up today, so that'll be nice. I'm going to head down. There's a, a larger pond back this way. I'm going to head down that way and uh, maybe there'll be some waterfowl on it. I heard some Canada geese flying over a little earlier ago, a little while ago, so we'll see. Still seen a lot of species so far. I think I'm up to about 12 now, so definitely hasn't been a bad morning. There are at least five red-winged blackbirds calling out in the marsh. There's also some blue jays, song sparrow, and I believe at least two mallards, and I think I heard a wood duck. So there's a lot out there. There doesn't seem to be too much activity on this edge of the marsh. So, I'm going to pack up and head up to the pond. This is awesome. I made it up to the pond and there is a male hooded merganser on the far end and there were also two wood ducks up here. The wood ducks flew 
but the merganser is still on the back side where it was. So I'm going to kind of get in position. There's a little bit of a spillway here that I'm gonna just lay down on, give me as low as a vantage point as I can, I think, and I'm gonna hope it's gonna come back this way. It's just over there kind of preening itself, so we'll see. Hooded merganser is still, it's about 50 to 60 yards away, but there's a lot of water between me and him. So there's some distortion in the air, but it just finished preening and it's starting to dive again. So it's starting to forage again. So hopefully things are returning a little bit back to normal and hopefully it'll come back a little bit closer this way. Hopefully. came a little bit closer and I just had three mallards come land on this side of the beaver dam as well or the beaver lodge I'm sorry so they're getting closer
All four ducks have moved back behind the beaver lodge now. I'm gonna try to creep around this way. There's a trail that goes this way and kind of like a, an outlook point that'll take away about 20 yards or so of the distance between us. So while they're kind of tucked away back there, I'm gonna try to go around that way, see if maybe I can get a different vantage point of them. on making my way over to this point but I'm pausing here because the merganser is kind of coming over this direction and right now I'm kind of behind some pine cover so it can't necessarily see me that well and I'm waiting for it to kind of start foraging so when it dives down it'll give me a chance to get a little bit closer and move into position if I move now, I'm afraid it's going to see me and, and fly away. I hope it just took off. Ah, it just took off. So, at least I know it took off and it wasn't because of me because I've been sitting here for about 10 minutes now and it's been going back and forth. The uh, three mallards are still over here and there were two other wood ducks that flew over as well. <clears throat> so if I had to guess, they probably went back down to the marsh area because I know there was a couple mallards and wood ducks down there already. So it wouldn't surprise me if if that's where the merganser was going. It's unfortunate. I might just sit here, kind of move into the spot that I was going to go to, and maybe just sit and wait, and maybe something will come back. There's still two wood ducks down on the far end of this marsh here, so maybe I'll just sit and wait, and maybe they'll come back over. Didn't have any luck sitting down by the water. So I came up to a higher vantage point and it was a perfect spot to have a little snack. sitting here eating my snack. 
and I noticed some ripples in the water and it wasn't from the wind and I realized there are two beavers sitting on the surface of the water so they come out and were kind of just laying floating on the surface of the water and they ended up going back into their lodge I didn't remember seeing those two things that looked like logs in the water before so when I looked at them through binoculars I realized they were two beavers so it's really a benefit of just finding a spot to sit and just sit quietly because you never know what might come out I guarantee those beavers knew that I was down around the water and now that I'm up higher and have been quiet and just been sitting here they felt safe to come out So, sometimes you just have to sit and wait. One thing I find that's really helpful if you want to be a better naturalist and just a better observer is if you just write down your observations in a notebook. It doesn't have to be anything too detailed, just kind of a simple what the weather is, where you are, things you saw when you saw them, and kind of the direction of where things came from. That kind of thing really helps you in the long run because it kind of helps you develop animal behavior maybe potentially why they're doing things or how they're doing things uh, and where animals are coming from. And it also gives you time of when they're actually doing it. So if you observe, say for the instance for the beavers, um, I wrote down that they came out, they sunned themselves for a little bit. Uh, it was about 10.50 in the morning. And then they went back, back on the far side, on the western side of the lodge when they went back into the lodge. Um, so that kind of gives me an idea of, okay, well, that's where they're going to possibly come from. Uh, they probably have more than one entrance or exit to the lodge, but that's one side where they have an exit or, or entrance. So just kind of things like that, because sooner or later you can kind of accumulate a lot of knowledge just on things that you've seen yourself. And it really helps you in the long run of being able to figure out where you can find wildlife and why they do what they do. Well, that's going to be it for me today. Uh, last count I had 20 species that I've seen, which is a pretty darn good day for middle of February. Um, a lot of the birds I was able to hear and identify, but I didn't actually see them, uh, which is kind of common in these marshy kind of habitats, especially with a lot of brush. There's not that many clearings that you can see into them. Um, but I'm really happy I got to see the hooded merganser, spend some time with that. and. Yeah, just enjoying the weather. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.